Page and Dr. Battletech, the patient is ready to receive your foot up his ass. <laughs> How's it going, folks? Welcome back to some more Battletech. And we're doing the Liberate Panzer contract now, the priority mission. I think we're ready. I think we're steady. But let's not go just yet. <laughs> now, because... Now, the question is, can I get away with this? Because there's one modification I forgot to do on the blackjack. My ass forgot to put on two medium lasers from the last session. So... I want to try and do this as qu quickly as possible. No, we can't because... Right, well, let's do the armor so we can do the tonnage. And we're going to throw on two medium lasers because I forgot to do this. Idiot. Because... I know Grouch says that the blackjack was under equipped and it makes sense. No, there we go. Yeah, because I forgot to equip the two medium lasers. I'm such an idiot. Right, I think we're good. So let's go, let's go take two days. That's not too bad. We'll just do that quickly. Because we need to watch our bill. Because if we run out of funds, the campaign's good and done. Perfect. Right, now we're ready. Let's do this. Oh, Perdition in orbit, Panzer. Welcome to Panzai, Commander McGrew. Lord, you're on the restoration army already fighting the planet's service and have been for weeks. For weeks? Jesus. With the aid of House Decimus Ground Support Facilities, Miss Maya will be carrying your lines through Panzer's orbital debris field and drop you on the surface. Alright, tell me about this debris field one, Madeira. It's a holdover from the Amaris Civil War. There was a great battle in orbit over Panzaya, and most of this wreckage is still there in the form of a dense field of par particulate material. Navigating the field of the would be a formidable task. Thankfully, we have the Space Quartz Control Center on our side. You'll be able to guide us in and send tugs to assist us if necessary. Okay, you feeling okay with this summary? Oh yeah, Commander, no sweat. What that kind of navigation spot I'll be getting from ground control. I could take us through the field with my eyes closed. Okay, good. The confidence, I like it. Alright, let's keep going. What happens after we're on the surface? Lady Arano wants your lands behind enemy lines. While she leads from the front, you'll harass the Dectory support train and target valuable military hardware. She already has a target list drawn up for you. Okay. So what? A, uh, a base assault? Sounds like it is. Hold that thought, Lord Madeira. Commander, I'm getting a tight beam communication from the planet's surface. This Lady Arano it looks urgent. I'm putting it on screen now. Deffy, you could have arrived at a better time. Our forces on the surface desperately need your help. With the support of House Decimus, we're making our final push against the Dectorus' last major stronghold. Our forces are fully committed to the attack and we're pushing them back. But the Dectory just seized control of the Panzer's only remaining spaceport. With it, they'll be able to call down reinforcements at will. I need somebody to take the spaceport's command control center away from him, Deffy. That someone is going to have to be you. That means that Mrs. Mayer will need you to carry through the, field, the debris field unassisted. I hope that her skills are up to the task. Oh, fucking hell, really? Well, this day just got more interesting. I'm afraid there's more. Alexander, I just received a message from Lady Centrella. There's been a major incident on Perdition. It looks like a terrorist ac action. A chemical agent against the port city of Harlow's Landing. Initial casualty reports suggest some 11,000 dead. Oh, Jesus. That sounds bad. Chemical tag. Ugh. Yeah, that sort of thing isn't going to happen anymore. Protector Calrodron would be inclined to agree. He's claiming the attack was an act of Davian aggression. Davian aggression? Uh, capital area. Federal Sons. Come one of the largest, most military powerful states in the inner sphere. The Federation Sun's motto by Free and Sword illustrates itself. Great! So we're gonna have a fucking civil war within a civil war. Brilliant. In direct violation of the Ararius Conventions. Conventions. He's already calling it the Perdition Massacre. For their part, the Davians have denied all knowledge of the attack. Their denials. Their denials will fall on deaf ears. Calderon won't believe anything that Hans Davian has to say. 
This is going to accelerate our timetable. We need to retake your throne before the situation gets any worse. If a war was to erupt between the Federation and the Concordant, it would easily spill into the reach, and we can't afford that kind of chaos. Alright, then we better get moving. I can't say I like the idea of a couple of superpowers inserting themselves into our campaign. Fight by me, the bastard would go to Sumer, get to a vast mastiff's death. Yeah. Yeah, we need to vast avenge mastiff. Oh, before I go. I was having to think last night about Battletech because I was watching a couple of videos, you know, like little tips and tricks videos. That Centurion that we found in the Argo, right? Now, there's no story to confirm this. I wonder if that Centurion that we found in the Argo was Mastiffs. I came to that conclusion thinking about that because how funny on that part Centurion's Fall, I can't remember where it was, the, the second half of the Prison Break session. That we lost the Centurion, and at the same time we found Mastiff's dead body. <laughs> anyway, back to this. That's the spirit, Deffy. I'll brief you fully more when you reach the planet's surface. You should be expect you should expect this to be a rough draw. Bring your best and may the gods grant you victory. We'll all be counting your success. You're the lady, Jack. Let's get to it. Mir, I'm going ahead and trust you, you got this. Do me a solid and try not to scrape the Leopard's paint on your way down. Leopard's paint. Yeah, XO. I'll do my best. Right. Okay, game. What have you got for us? Okay, so it's a two... So, okay. It's a two difficulty. Which means... Right, so this means... It's 175 tons. So that means... Actually, let's have a few details. Let's see what it says. Oh, it doesn't really say anything. Oh, okay. Right, so... Okay, so basically... It's a two-ton... Right. Okay, so I'm just trying to... So I'm just trying to think. If the tons... As a difficulty represents the enemy's tonnage, then we're going to be looking at possibly 135 tons, uh, 45 tons for Vindicator, 25, 45. Okay, so mediums is in the ballpark of 50s, and light mechs are in the ballpark of the 20s, even the 30s. So. I'm thinking we're either going to be up against maybe two or three medium mechs, say 50 a piece average, 150 plus maybe a mech, a light mech, or it could just be a bunch of lights and then maybe one medium in between. So, yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to be taking that Master Stall, Master Stall, whatever his name is. Commando, you're out. And we're going to bring in the Vindicator and finally Glitch. So, also, I made a bit of a boo-boo regarding the Mech Warriors uh, developments. So, I've learned that the actual roles in this game... So, you look at the Trevige, for example. I think if you scroll down... No. Trevige? No, it doesn't say. Like, for example, when we're on the Blackjack, it says Fire Support and Skirmisher. So, the different roles, if I remember rightly, was Scout, Cavalry slash Skirmisher, Fire support slash sniper, brawler, and there's one other that I can't remember. No, um, these are the different roles that your different mechs can provide. For example, a scout. You would normally use a light mech with high mobility, but also not just high mobility, but also with a mech warrior with high tactics. No, to get, for example, sensor lock. No, with glitch. Because, like, for example, with the, um, the light mech, what you can do is you can you can actually sensor lock from beyond your visual range. So, with uh, a light mech, for example, you don't need, for example, at the Locust, you don't have to be in direct combat for them to be useful. You can use the Locust to go behind a hill or a mountain. And you can use a mech pilot with sensor lock to provide um, a, uh, evasion charge elimination for your other mechs to open fire on. So, 
the actual the actual development of your mech warriors should represent that and i think i'll do that with legend who is going to be my locust user so i'm going to up the piloting and i'm going to up the tactics so we can get sensor lock and we can move around and stuff for example with shadowhawk i'm doing well with shadowhawk because i'm making her into a skirt well cavalry we do have jump jets so we have to move around and stuff but also what we can do is we can use um, i believe it's ace pilot which is down the piloting tree to shoot first and then move so what we could do is we can jump jet to the other side of the mech open fire and then the mech could then the mech could turn around face or start firing whatever and then what we could do is we could do another shot and then we can move behind cover or something and let me tell you something i was looking at these different roles and the footage i watched for this one guy who was giving uh tips and tricks he had a mech called a Stalker, which I believe is DLC. And this guy outfitted it, and I'm not joking, he outfitted it with two LRM-15s and two LRM-20s. And it was just raining missiles every day when he was using it. Oh, I was, oh, I was impressed. Right, well, anyway, this is that guy. This is the campaign. This is my campaign. So, I'm definitely learning a lot, so next time I do Season 2 with some mods for this game, I'll be able to implement what I'm learning here to that. So anyway, let's uh, let's get started. Don't know what we're up against. we just got to be solid the best we can. So we got three long-range mech users and one short-range. So, not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't shit myself. Okay, so take control of the Dectorate's turrets. Do not allow any Dectorate reinforcements to land. Destroy the spaceport's dropship control center. Okay, so this is turning into a. It looks like a um a base assault. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, by the way, also, I've been messing around with the career mode a lot recently as well. My god, that is it. I'm not joking. The career mode seems to be a lot more difficult than the campaign mode because... On the career mode, the contracts, they actually pay a lot less. Pardon. They pay a lot less than what a campaign mission would pay. It's mad. Command interface initiated. Okay, then, folks, let's do this. Commander, glad you made it. Navigating Panzer's debris field and assisters, no small feat, even for a ship as small as the Leopard. Miss Myers to be condemned for a skill. Ah, no sweat, Lady Rano. Just don't ask me to do it again. You won't have to. Restoration strike teams have already joined forces with the second Decimus Fusilius, 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 to engage the enemy on multiple fronts. We have them at a disadvantage, but if they manage to bring in reinforcements, we're in trouble. Defy, I need to engage the enemy. Locate the dropship control center and destroy it. Without ground support, their ships won't be able to navigate the debris field. The Dectorate's troops on the surface will be cut off and our combined forces will sweep them away. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt Lady Arano, but we just intercepted a transmission from the ADV Conor Coronac. They're requesting navigational aid. It, it sounds like they're on their way down. If that ship lands, our bid for the system fails, Deffy. I need you to take the control center out before the Conconat touches down. The second I can help with that. We have a leopard full of engineers heading your way, Commander. I need you to clear us a path to the spaceport security headquarters. Take out their vehicles and make us some breathing room, and then we'll turn the turret defenses against them. Turret defenses. That's the plan then. We'll use the turrets to cover your approach. As soon as we have the turrets in control, the deck turret will begin firing on them. Use that as a distraction, or engage the enemy to protect them. Should call either way. Good right, hunting, okay, so... You bring down the control center, and we'll handle the rest. Good luck. Okay, so we need to destroy the... Dropship. Okay. 15 rounds. Destroy 5 units. Okay, so the. Okay, I'm just trying to think how to do this. Because I was gonna. I was gonna say we can take. 
We could split up into two groups. We could take... I'm thinking we could take Behemoth and Ashwang down here to take control of the turrets. Whilst we could take Deathy and Glacier to start softening up that... That area. Okay, now this is interesting. What do we do? Hmm... Actually, it probably be, would be best if we secured the first objective first, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so Behemoth, you lead. Roger. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, We've got company. I also found out that there is high advantage in this game, which is brilliant. Uh, can we move and shoot? Nah, no, we can. We're not in combat, technically, so that's fine. Right, we need to start taking some positions in the forests if possible. Okay, so Ashwan, you get there. Blackjack, we need you further down. Perfect. Glitch, you can take the other position. There we go. Moving out. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to be keeping with this emblem and this colour scheme for the rest of the campaign now. I've messed around too much. I think I finally found my colours. Commander, I'm seeing Detroit SRMM carriers on radar. Recommend engaging them at long range. They'll take you apart if you let them get close. Oh, brilliant. Thanks for telling me. Right, okay, so first of all... So what? These are just... Okay, let's... Let's have a go with Behemoth What's first. Up, okay, let's see here. So it's probably best if we actually... Actually, no, let's keep... Her, oh yeah, we've got short-range missiles of ourselves, but... Oh, apparently we'll get... Okay, this is a pretty good angle. Alright, we'll do. Got it. Alright, we'll stick to the tree line then. Are we in the trees? I didn't actually see that. No, we're not. Ah, fuck, I thought we were in the forest then. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's focus on the... Bulldog. Okay, bit of fire at first. There's... Try looking for that obstruction there. Oh, there's just a stray shot, so I don't think it matters. Okay, How Ash might I help? Uh, okay, glitch, Ash Ring, Deathy, um... I kind of like where we are. Can we actually... No, 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 no. Uh, so if we moved okay so if we moved here is there a w grouch is there a way to check a target's position let me sorry let me get me words out is there a way to check a shot's percentage from the current cursor's location without hovering over an enemy. Like, for example, if I were to do this, it would say 90 down the board, 90, 90, 80, 80, but it'd be from this position. Can I check from my preferred position like this? Because I think that would actually help my planning a little bit more, I think. But I'll just move... Oh, no, no. Uh... Here, that's where I wanted to move. Gotta stay in the tree line. Okay, let's have a look. 1990, 1990. Uh, holy shit balls. Yeah, no wonder. Bunch of SRMs up the ass. Alright, let's unfire them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. 80 damage. Take that. Okay, let's have a look at glitch. Um, can you take any shots from where you're sitting? Mm, just on the bulldog. Actually, I kind of want to focus fire on the SMR carrier, actually. Yeah, I'll do that. Got it. Oh, nice. Take it. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, Ashwang. Uh, you from your location, where can you hit? You can do... Striker, Bulldog. Let's uh, let's focus on this Bulldog here. Oh, the destruction. Actually, it doesn't look like it's going to be a problem. Hmm, okay, that'll do. Alright, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so Striker's moving up. Alright, so we need to kill off the five units before... Yeah, this is time sensitive to this. Very time sensitive. I might have to. Damage is light. Yeah. Right. Let's see what we're up against. Okay, so there's another bulldog. Okay, 
large laser, two large lasers, some LRMs and the like. Okay, so Shadowheart's taking a bit of a beat in terms of armor. Uh, I should have should have braced then to be honest. Okay, Bulldog's moving on. Jesus on a stick. Okay, I see see fire. That's the turret start. Yeah, that was turret fire that. Damage is minor, Commander. Yeah, that was turret fire. They came from over this direction. Okay, so we've got another SRM carrier, so God. Ouch, 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 ouch. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my fucking lord! Damn it! I'm hit. Oh yeah, she didn't. Oh, wow, are you joking? Okay, 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 okay. Yes, Commander. Okay, okay, okay. Um, actually, we could do with moving a little bit. Um, how far can we move and still be in? Oh, here we go. Nope. I saw a two. Of, there we go. That's perfect. I was gonna say I saw a two evasion. The more useful. Bulldog striker. Nineteen ninety. Um. Actually, I'm gonna take care of the bulldog here. Anything? Just structure exposed, okay. Okay, okay, I'll tell you some of this game is really ya. unforgiving. What can I do uh, for you? okay, let's see. Shots from your target. Uh nice here, bulldog. Okay, so you can only see those two. Right. Well I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Um Ashrang, can we start with you? Reporting. Let's have a look. Um, let's see, 85, 8 across the boards, we have 85 here, 70, we can focus fire on the Bulldog, although I kind of want to get some targeting on the, actually, we're going to use multi-target, we can't multi-target until we move into position, okay, right there, we've moved a little bit, let's go multi-target, here, and I think here. Actually, no, no. I want to use the large laser, actually. Uh, come on. Nope. Okay, let's just restart that. Okay, so we want A and B. And we're going to focus the missiles on B to take care of the carrier. But still doing a bit of damage with the medium laser. Fire on multiple targets. Okay, I'll stray shot. We missed. Okay, good. Right, so now if we switch to glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's go fire from that location. Can we get eyes on this carrier? No. Right, where can we get eyes on the carrier? We can get them from here. Uh don't want to get in any closer than we already have. We could jump actually. No, we don't want indirect, we want Direct line of sight. Perfect. So, we'll jump jet over there. We'll still be in the tree line. And then, where is... There we go. And then, we can use the precision strike on the SRM carrier onto there to... Actually, no, we don't need that. That's a waste. Because it's already 90. It's not going to go up anymore. So, I think we could just do a normal shot, I think. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, just gone over it. Where is it? There we go. Right. So it's 15. Okay, so it just needs to hit. Go. All weapons are go. Nice. I don't think... Ah, oh, God, didn't do anything. Oh, looks... Alright, Behemoth, are you up yes, yet? Commander. No, you're not. Stand up. Yeah, I'm just going to eject. Ejecting. Yeah. The Shadowhawk took way too much damage. Not losing the Shadowhawk. We got the advantage. 
We're all right. We still have 15 rounds, and even then, it's just destroy the. It's just destroy the building. So even if we get indirect fire, we should be all right. We should be fine. Just need to take yeah, care of right. these drones, and everything's fine and dandy. Well, as far as I'm aware. Bulldog's moving up. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, SRM's moving up, but I think we might just be out of range. Or not, we should. Oh, it starts up a lot of damage. Okay, we're alright. We're okay. Maybe I should, uh, I should have used Vigilance. Losing armor. That would have been a bit better. Mech warriors. Show them what you got. Okay, that's fine. Right, definitely. Um, Commander? Um, let's have a look. Yeah, let's just... Actually, no, no, no. Let's move and let's get a bit more evasion charges. Let's... Why get a good two? We can. Let's have a look. Um, we could get one, but we won't be in the tree line. We don't have, um, well, I'll tell you what then, let's pop a Vigilance, just in case. Right, and then we can open fire, and then we'll just focus on the, uh, the Bulldog here. Good. Okay, two down, three to go. And we've got three rounds to do it. That's fine. Okay, 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 let's go to Glitch next. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's do Jump Jets, let's see if we can get into a better position. Yeah, we'll go back to here. Here we go. Jump around, get some evasive charges just in case she's targeted. But <clears throat> Bulldog. Yep. Commencing out. Up fire on the camera. On the camera? <laughs> on the carrier. Good. Right, so that's two down. Over We've got down. one more left. Oh, pardon. Two more. Okay, Ash rank. Yes, um, Commander. You are going to pop a Vigilance, get that steady back down, and we are going to open fire on the, uh, yeah, let's just open fire in the Bulldog. Okay. Got three rounds left, I might have to put in, there we go, good thing I popped that Vigilance. Okay, so I might have to go in and start doing melee, I think. Bulldog's moving up. Giving a pop the vigilance and him as well. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Right. Ashwin, you, you can move in for a melee. That's beautiful. Uh, 65, I think drones take double damage or 1. Point times, uh, 1.5 times damage, I think. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to go in because we're two rounds and there's no way we're going to take care of two drones in two rounds. So we're just going to have to uh, just go right in, I think. That's a kill. I know, I know. Okay, definitely. Um, let's move you down. Get it closer. Oh, oh, that's that red eye. Right, okay. That makes sense. Can we just move down into the tree? Actually, what's your shot from here? Your shots are nice across the board. I don't see why not. All okay. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Nicely done, Commander. Lieutenant Andrus, your approach to the security HQ is clear. Where's your lady, Arno? Have the turrets under friendly control in just a moment. Engage the forces guarding that control center, Defi. Let's make those turrets count. Good. Okay, awesome. Now we have to start advancing. Okay, glitch. Let's fly. Engaging jump jet. Because we've got 11 rounds and we need to traverse all the way across here.
They're taking control of our damn turrets. All units, target the turrets and destroy them before the enemy's battle mechs enter weapons range. Do it now. All right, all right. Oh, oh, awesome. Okay, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, Jesus. Right, so basically we just got to ignore the, uh, the light mechs. If we can just ignore them, let the turrets do what they're doing. We should be alright then. Target move, target move, target move. Okay. Reporting. Ashwang, we need to get moving, son. Roger. Move as far as you can. The phaser charges will help. Okay. Let me turn. Oh god, okay, we got a Centurion. That's fine. Alright, one of the turrets is gone around there. Okay, Defi, um, yeah, we're just gonna have to sprint you. Actually, you, yeah, you pack, you can follow suit like this. Okay, okay, okay. But we got a trebuchet as well. Hmm. Starting to wish it wasn't that stupid with um with Behemoth now. Shouldn't have gotten too close. Waiting for order. Okay. Need shots on that place. Uh turret. Uh, not sorry, jump. Let's see what we can do. Uh we can only move. Oh, a minute. If we move here. Oh, that's from is that from the bill? A minute. What do what do we have lines on if we move there? Probably not much. I don't know, we'll check in a second, let's see. So we have eyes on the Centurion. Okay, we've got, yeah, 90, 85, double, all oh, five. Boom, nice. Okay, cool, and a head hit, awesome. Right. And a, oh, Jesus Christ, and a hunchback? And a dragon. Right, all I need to do is just get to the building. Well, I'll tell you what, for these fucking turrets, they're useless. Ignore the turrets and concentrate your fire on the battle mechs. We must protect the control center. If our reinforcements can't land, we are all dead. Now fight for the deck turret. Brilliant. Oh, Jesus Christ. Can we, can we get a turn, please? <laughs> I'd like to get a turn, please, if that's possible. Yeah, the mechs are coming in to advance on us now. Awaiting order. <sighs> So we need to get eyes in that building. How much? No, 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 no. Yes, Commander. Let me just put on tight so I don't accidentally move. Ah, we can only do it if we have Moving eyes. Out. You idiot. You fucking idiot. Right, well, it's fine. We're, we're all right. God damn it. Okay, pop the vigilance. And, uh, let's focus fire on the trebuchet. I understand. Okay, and it's unsteady, brilliant. Okay. I'm giving up the, the vigilance then, but I don't know if they'll do anything. Okay, awesome. I'm showing minor damage. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. 